Hey guys, it's General Aviation Guru. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but with school and other commitments, things have kind of gotten a little bit behind schedule. Um, but anyway, here's some footage from earlier parts of my instrument training in Stage 1. Um, obviously, as to be expected, I did make a few mistakes from which I hope you guys can learn, um, because I know I did. Um, but nevertheless, it was a great flight, and everything was certainly within standards. And throughout the video, I'll make some small interjections so as to provide context um, to certain parts, and explain what we're doing as we shoot the approach. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, Obby is 11.8 DMA. If you didn't have DME, how else could you identify Obby? Uh, I could use the Columbus VOR, but the Columbus VOR is out of service. Or? Uh, a localizer. localizer. Yep, so Obby could be 11.8 on the DME from uh, on the uh, 081 radio, or it could be the intersection of Tuskegee 081 and the localizer. But having distance always helps. Alright, so that's coming live. Alright, so it's the Atlas 36 today. That's uh, form 14149, localizer frequency is 110.1. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to switch that and this and put the localizer. Good, put the localizer in your backup here as well. So say something did happen to the NAVCOM 1. Right. Alright, and then. Uh, Approach course is going to be 005. Auburn service comp, 5173 Victor, departing pattern to the northwest. Touchdown zone elevation 759 feet. We're approaching our initial approach fix is Obby, we're going to turn inbound. From Obby, we got 5.7 nautical miles to touchdown. Minimums are for the localized approach 1140 MSL and three quarter statute miles of visibility, which we have. If we do not have that, we'll go missed. Missed approach is straight ahead, climb to uh, 53 year course here. And then uh, climbing right turn to uh, direct to Lagrange will attack at 3,000 and yep. hold. Remember, you can slow down the the approach brief, but make sure we're flying the plane. I mean, right. we we switched to this, but we didn't change the uh, did change the radio. So you were flying to a east. You're flying to a 090, and we went through the 081. So check out the chart with it on there. Yeah, that's where we're at relative. So we're, you know, just a little bit south, of, or yeah, a little bit south of where we need to be. Okay, we can come in. We'll hit it. Yeah. So somehow there, the OBS got set to zero nine zero instead of zero eight one, which meant we were tracking a course to the right of what we should have been um, heading towards Obby, which was our initial approach fix. But it was no big deal. We're on our way. We're tracking inbound towards the initial approach fix for the approach. I'm alive. So now what are we doing? Turn away from the let's localizer. Well, let's let's go right, and we'll go out and still do a procedure turn. So this was definitely the biggest blooper on my part for the entire flight. If you look at the approach plate, you'll see how we are approaching Obby on the Tuskegee 081. Notice that there is a procedure turn for the approach outbound on the localizer from Obby. Oh no, exactly also notice that nowhere on the chart does it say no PT for our entry. Thus, we are required to execute the procedure turn. Obviously, it would seem that one would want to turn inbound immediately, especially since the inbound course is a shorter turn than the outbound. But nonetheless, the chart requires a procedure turn, which is something that I definitely misread in this instance. We've still got full scale deflection. Don't worry about it. Just fly the uh, fly the procedure turn, heading one four zero. Uh, we'll just do it for like thirty seconds since we're already on that side of the course. All right. If we do a one four zero, it'll be a left turn back to three two zero inbound. It'll be a right turn. Oh, oh yes, give me a right turn. Right turn. Or complete the complete the arrow. Yeah, that's how I think of it with the barb. Yeah. And it's uh 
it's a shorter path to the localizer if you turn right. Right. Well, now we'll fly the reciprocal, so a 320, we'll fly that back in. Yankee Charlie rolling runway 36 will be uh, a left downwind departure over the top, southeast bound over. Localizer is alive. And we're 10 miles to the south of the advisor. What's our final approach fix? The final approach fix is Obby. We're At shooting an ILS. 68 Charlie Department area is southeast Auburn. The final approach fix on every ILS. By slip intercept. There we go. It, it, it should happen at Obby. Albert, still but I did it with another student. If you fly higher, like say, because I mean, it just says you have to be above 2,600, right? 2,600 right. is the lowest you can be. So if you if we're if we're you know at 3,000 and we pick up the glide slope, it's going to be before Obby. But a good practice is once we do cross Obby, to uh, start a time in case we lose our glide slope. Right. We could still fly a localizer. Definitely going to be flying a crab. Oh yeah, we got a good chunk of wind. That's a, that's a pretty good angle right there. Got my fighter jet's nose right on the course All there. Traffic to turn it to Light slope is alive. Okay, you don't got to climb to it. No, I'm just oh, you, got low. you did get low. Okay. I mean, that's within PTS, but still. Oh, yeah. Over oh, traffic 5173 Victor is 13 miles to the southwest. Alright, there's final approach fix. Alright. Last time. 1700 RPM flight. I don't know what time to use them. They're not, uh, we're not at the hobby. And Monroeville County, shooter 101 is high left at this space for runway 3 in Monroeville. Actually. Hey Lee, you up? Copy. Um, Alright, 450, Delta Sierra is left cross wind, 36, be the part of the patch to southeast west call. Very good, now that we're just a little bit off, use the wind to your advantage to get us back on the course. Yep. So we get the more substantial the uh, the correction is. So if we're just a little bit off, it thousand to go.
Baltimore, Travis Scott, 5173 Victor is 10 miles to the southwest, 4,000 feet inbound, Auburn. And the wind is starting to disappear as I get lower yeah. here. Down nice and greasy on that one. So I decided to let the glide slope descent play all the way through so that you guys could see the focus that goes into flying a precision approach. Um, you guys definitely got to see my successes and failures, so I hope this video was even in the slightest bit helpful. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff that I have planned coming up, particularly tutorials, um, so expect that in the very near future, and as always, thanks for watching.